What's up guys, I'm Sean. Welcome back to Big Smile Channel. Today I want to show you how to install the wood laminate flooring on your carpet. And at the end, I'm going to show you if this is a good idea, if you should do that or no. So if you want to learn that, stay with me until to the end. This is all the tools you will need. You need the rubber hammer, you need the pull bar. I have a two different sides. One of them is longer than the other one. Uh, you need the blocks. So also for the blocks, I have two sides and spacer. So let's start. This is a two story home and this is the second floor. The homeowner didn't want to uh, change the carpet and put the uh, silent under element. So he decided to save the carpet and just put the laminate on the top. And that's not the good idea I'm telling you right now. So the way you want to install, so you decide which way you want to put your uh, laminate and you put two spacer against the wall. And after that you just need to put these two laminate to each together. You just have to clip. It's very easy. Everyone can do that. Look, I just took it off is that easy you just have to put it as, as an angle and you just have to slide it in so very simple so to start we have to put the spacer against the wall i put already one spacer here as you see and i have to put the another spacer against the other wall so I have to always you have to leave the gap between your laminate and wall. So I'm gonna show you why later. So and I put another space. I wanna put the next laminate but I have to cut it. How to measure? I use I don't use the tape measure, I just put it against the wall and I have to mark. It. But I need the other that side, so I have to turn this, okay? And I'm gonna mark it here because I have to save that end. So at that end is gonna match with this end. So I have to save that. So I, that's why I turn it. So I'm gonna make the mark and I go with the triangle. I'm gonna make the line here and then cut it with the circle saw. You can use the spacer to make your laminate straight. So sometimes the wall in the house is not straight and it's crooked. So you can adjust the distance between your laminate and wall with the spacer. So some area you have to use the double uh, spacer. So to have a straight laminate. I'm gonna use the, the other piece of the laminate I just cut and I used it in the beginning. So you don't waste any and uh, you can see here uh, also when i install this laminate you see i'm gonna leave the gap again and i'm gonna put the spacer so don't worry about the gap you should have a gap between your wall and laminate because in the winter and the summer different temperature it make your laminate move and if you don't doesn't have any space between your laminate and wall so your laminate cannot move and has a pressure so it could pop up your laminate in the middle or laminate somewhere it's gonna break and don't worry about the gap you can install the quarter round to cover the gap i have a video in the i'm gonna put in the description check it out make sure to destroy the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any video in future this is the channel you will learn about the home remodeling and how to save money. I'm gonna show you the trick here. I always had this problem. Maybe you guys have the same issue I had. So first you need to put this side in. And when you put that side completely in, you see in it, I have a gap with the back one. So you have to lift it to the up as an angle and then you see is is up and then slide it. So that's easy. So the way you want to put the two laminates uh, from back and side is like this. Do you remember I said sometimes wall is crooked? So this is the one of those walls. So as you see, I have to put the two uh, spacer here 
and the rest you see is one only one spacer so to make my laminate straight So this is the reason you're not supposed to install the laminate on the carpet as you see when you walk the laminate go up and down and you see it, we have a bed is heavy and it's, it's showing because of too much pressure the laminate pop off. So do not do that as you see when I push my feet here you see the laminate will move and that's not good that's because of the carpet is under the soft and is make the laminate move so the right way to do that it was take the carpet off fix the uh, plywood under it if it's any loose plywood making noise or any mold you have to fix that and then lay your under element so here we because it's second floor uh, we should use the silent one so and then install the laminate so that's the right way and uh, you always have to do the right way so thank you for watching i hope this video was helpful make sure subscribe to channel uh, i will show you how to fix a problem around your home and how to remodel your home by yourself without paying anyone thank you very much see you guys next time